Hey, it's Andrea. I wanted to get you a quick view of the ocean before I go find a shady spot to do a little bit of video in. It's beautiful here. I, my father, when I was all of my 20s, so he was there for a decade, he lived in St. Thomas. And I forgot how much I miss this Caribbean water and colors and everything else. Anyway, I thought I'd give you a quick peek and then we'll go over to the, I found a little, well, there's like a hundred little hut things right here. I'm just gonna sit in one so that I can see better and you can see better. And uh, yeah, so I'm here at the Legendary Lifestyle Experience, is what it's called. It's a Dave Sharp adventure. And uh, it's one of those really tiny masterminds. I really, I prefer small masterminds for the most part. I cannot stand sitting in a room like a conference room for multiple days. It's not even that I don't like it, it's that I can't handle it. It's just exhausting. So by the end of uh, the middle of the first day of any like three day event or two day event or whatever, I'm ready to go home every single time. And it's not that there isn't more good stuff coming. There always is. I tend to take part of the next day or two off and then return to the end of the event or just leave. Like this last one, I only went to one day of three and I think that might have been, I mean, it worked out for me personally. There was other stuff to do over the weekend, but it, it also leaves me with a, a gap in not feeling like I attended the whole event. So there is a way to like take a half day of each day or something that, um, that can work. Anyway, what I wanted to do was show you the beach and then um, really quick tell you about a book that I have picked up called Everyone Has a Story. Now it's written by a guy who's speaking to clinicians with clients, like mental mental health clients. And it's a little, little tricky for me initially to get past that, but if I think of it in terms of coaching and people that I'm guiding, or um, so it's, the subtitle is Using the Hero's Journey and Narrative Therapy to Reframe the Struggle of Mental Illness. It should say and addiction because that's what he talks about a lot in here. But it's got some interesting, um, it's got some interesting exercises that I think anybody, regardless of what you know designation they might have about their their own psyche, um, I think that we can really use it for the storytelling that we are needing to do really in our all of our marketing, so that the right people are filtered through to us. So what I do always, it's it's not a very big book. It's eighty something pages and you know decent size uh, type so it's not even it's not dense it's just like a workbook almost um, and I think what we'll do is inside of I have a story storytelling workshop space that goes with um, one of the products that's inside of the builder level of legendary and it's all about story story selling and storytelling and getting practice at it like really honing our muscles around that stuff and the end of this book this might be the the way through to that because the end of this book it's I always start I always start at the end and work my way forward for the most part get kind of an overview and then ditch to the end and this this is called creating a manifesto and what this is is really creating a marketing statement or a you know this is what I stand for a values statement uh, and that's exactly what we need for our marketing. So I think what we can, I don't know if I'll have everybody order this when inside of the, the mastermind space or, or what, maybe I'll read parts of it to you, but um, creating a manifesto, I'll just read the, the top of it, the first two paragraphs here and then I'll be done. Uh, a manifesto is a declaration of your principles. It summarizes who you are, what you do, and why you do it. It's your point of view. And people buy from people who know that, who are able to, to be clear on that point. Um, a manifesto incorporates your strengths, your values and passions, as well as your goals and aims in life. As both a call to action, a call to action and a mission statement, it is designed to be shared with others as a public proclamation. By formally stating the beliefs and intentions that guide your life, you're reminding others as well as yourself 
why you're here, and why you matter. I'll read this last paragraph too. Manifestos come in all shapes and sizes. Some are short written statements, the Declaration of Independence, while others are books, the Communist Manifesto, or even speeches, I have a dream. Others are lists or a series of slogans. So there's no rules here. The point is to come up with something that suits you, that suits you and, and helps people understand who you are and what your, what your values are. And it's not even that, it's just about letting people get to see you, right? There's no right answer here. Um, some manifestos are creatively rendered, incorporating different sizes of fonts or colorful artwork. If you simply Google manifesto images, you will be presented with a wide array of examples to use as models and inspiration. And then after that, he has put, um, I don't know, a half a dozen or so examples of written manifestos that people have, um, and people that are familiar to us, some of them, have written. and. Um, I just think that it'll help with branding, it'll help with clarity on market message and all of that stuff. So we're gonna explore this further. He also had every single uh, paragraph, or every single chapter, he has these great uh, quotes, which I had never heard most of them. So it's good stuff. Anyway, the book is Everyone Has a Story, Using the Hero's Journey and Narrative Therapy to Reframe the Struggle of Mental Illness. And it's by Andy Matzner, L-C-S-W, which I have no idea what that means. Okay? Okay. See you guys soon. Wish you were here.